not the leader of a cult. Grab it with sex. Greetings, demons, and welcome to a bit of a random video, but yeah. A promotional email just went out to anyone that's on the Call of Duty store's, you know, email list, and it's revealing the mystery box keycaps, which I think is really cool, and, you know, just from here you can see it's the size of, like, a backspace, an average backspace, uh, two keys long, I guess, um, and yeah, I think this looks really, really cool, and, um, I don't really have spoke about it too much, but I, d I have a few custom keep. Uh, keycaps, most of which I got from um, Xbox. Uh, Microsoft sent them to me um, a while ago, and yeah, this would be a really nice addition to that. Of course, I love uh, Call of Duty Zombies, and the reason why I wanted to just make a quick video about these, uh, beyond the fact I just think they're kind of cool, is if I actually click on the link. Okay, we're seeing it already. So uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, these are US exclusive, so obviously when I click on it, it's asking me do you want to uh, change your location to the UK. I would say I'm UK, so I want to use, use the international store. If I click on that, nothing. If I search for keycaps real quick, uh, nothing will come up. Yeah, literally no results at all. And going back to the main website, you can see that, yeah, they are available. They are on the store. You can add them to car and everything like that. $60, which is a little expensive, but is about what you'd expect for custom keycaps, um, especially ones of this kind of quality. Like, you can tell the actual look of them is really well made. Like, just in general, these things look... I, I really like them. I would happily uh, be spending, well, what is that, like 50, 50 pounds? Maybe... maybe 45, if it's 45, if it ever comes to the UK, um, then I think that's a, a, a definite. But uh, yeah, these things look absolutely excellent. And yeah, it's just it's just a shame to me that they aren't, at least at the moment, available globally, available internationally. And like, I feel like I'm not the only person that's going to feel like this because we've had it with plenty of other situations uh, with, you know, some really cool... You know, merchandise from the Call of Duty line that's just a not that's just not available. Like, I I remember I think it is available now, but the Raygun replica I don't think. Uh, let's actually see. I don't actually know if the Raygun is available. It wasn't at release. Okay, it is now. So yeah, I think it's actually, is that more expensive? It's six hundred and eight pound here, and yeah, it's six hundred dollars. So. If anything, the keycaps might be more expensive if they come to the UK. That is ridiculous. Like, I might actually be better off paying the import fee. That is crazy. But, yeah, my point being, like, I, I think Call of Duty really needs to stop doing this with their, like, big collectible items. Uh, there's so many things that they sell for, like, limited times. Um, this just being the most recent, where, you know, they're just not available to international audi audiences. I think that's kind of unfair and I know you know obviously a large amount of the players of Call of Duty are American and that's just you know by virtue of the fact that Americans are one of the biggest markets for video games but I feel it's it's kind of unfair to then make it so that Europeans people in you know Asia the Middle East like there are plenty and I I know many people who live in these places uh, Australia as well like Australia New Zealand there's so many players of these games that would love something like this and it just seems like such a shame that it's just not available you know globally but yeah hopefully that does change and hopefully it's not more expensive like imagine if it's uh so that was six hundred dollars to six hundred and eight pounds so i guess it's is it going to be sixty uh, sixty pound eighty <laughs> but yeah it's just i don't know there's something kind of annoying about this and I, I don't know I really like these that's why I'm making this video it's because I I really like these I want them you know I want to swap out my backspace for this it, it looks great but yeah just a real shame that it's seemingly just not going to be available to mass market and I don't know I, I feel that's a massive misstep and you know especially with the focus that uh, Black Ops 6 is looking to have with zombies people are gonna be lining up for this sort of thing like, they're going to want this sort of customization for their keyboard. Because, I mean, just just look, even our default layout, like, that orange, the, like, Black Ops orange, it looks so good. Like, I, I love this design, and I think it's a really cool thing. But it's just really annoying that it's... And, and at the end of the day, it's made in the USA. That is why, but it's like... 
it's not difficult to export globally. Like, it's not difficult to make something in one place and get it to another place without a massive markup. I mean, look at China, for example. Like, China produces a lot of stuff and it all gets exported out to the rest of the world pretty easily. Even limited run items from China or a better example might actually be Japan. A, like, a hot spot for gaming merchandise and you can pretty easily get most things from Japan that are made in Japan out to the rest of the world without much issue and just it seems really weird that I can easily get a really niche figure of a very niche character from you know a Japanese online retailer easily import it to the UK but then Call of Duty one of the biggest franchises of all time owned by one of the biggest gaming companies of all time in Activision and to some extent Tencent can't just send me a keycap? <laughs> like, why Why is it so difficult just to have keycaps in the Europe warehouses and stuff? Because obviously there is an international store that is mainly based in Europe, like to my knowledge at least, and you know, that should mean that there is a way for them to just have this stuff available uh, without a markup as well, but yeah, either way, looks great, hand-painted, hand-cast resin, just, just really good. I, I really like this, but uh, yeah, that's really all I had to say about it. So, yeah, that's my rant over on this. I think these are really cool. I really want one, and hopefully I'm able to have the chance. As I, say, I might end up just paying the import. But, uh, yeah, either way, very, very cool. And, yeah, that's going to be it for me. So, thanks for watching. I'll subscribe all the jazz. Comment below, thoughts and feelings about this. Ring the bell if you're new to the channel, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye! Look at the screen, yo! Cultures of the sex, but worlds divide. I just wanna take.